All right, friends, so part two, we're going to use five pound triads here. And these are excellent tools to use in place of a dumbbell because they give you different grip challenges that uh, will emphasize different uh, aspects of the, the muscle groups that we're working with. So this is my version of light dumbbell training. Some of you may have already practiced the Sandow method or Professor Attila's light dumbbell training. This is my personal version that I've developed over the years, and it's only a small fraction of it. Hi. So we're gonna start with just a slow curl up, rotate the forearms. Elbows begin to come out, elbows move towards my head, as I press up, slow down, back to the front, and slow curl down. Repeat. So I am gripping very tightly the triads. And so when I'm coming down, I'm actually pulling down. And here, as I'm lowering, I'm actually also pushing down. So I'm engaging far more than what you would have to do. Which gives you then more blast for your buck. Keep your breathing steady. I'm also pushing the earth away, tightening the glutes, the abs. Come part way down, hold. And finish the pull down and push down. Shake it out. Then we're going to reverse the grip here. If you're using dumbbells, not a problem. You're just going to keep holding them as you were. So what we're going to do is sit down a little bit. Actually, about this low, we're going to start from down here. We're going to come up with uppercuts. I'm pushing with my legs as well as arms. So we did something slow, do something fast. Stop, sit down a little bit lower and we're going to come up, out, in, down, up, out, in, down. I'm squeezing the grips. And relax. Shake it out. So one of the advantages of having variable grip possibilities. So let's say that I can come up holding the triad this way. I can come up to shoulder height with no effort. I mean, in other words, it's well within range. But I'm going to do it on the other side. And let's say I've hurt my right shoulder a little bit. Come up, ah, oh, right about there, that's about as good as it's going to get. I can take it, let it rest against my forearm, which is going to reduce the requirements, and come up. So, I can do one this way, one this way. 
Let's do that. So now slow up, slow down. Now, if you've been doing this just with your arms, I want you to think about it. We're pushing earth away. We're screwing the legs in. So we've got the glutes engaged. Tighten the abs, okay? Now, slow up, slow down. Go to the front, slow up, slow down. Up, down, up, down. Now, from the elbows, up, down, up, down. One more. So I'm not using just the five pound weight. I'm also contracting, so I'm doing like an internal force dynamic tension throughout my body as I'm doing this. So we're gonna put one down. And what we're gonna do is a up, over, hand shift, up, over, hand shift, reverse it, start from the back, pass it around the back, up in the front, up in the front, pass in the back. Twist and turn. One, in the back. Two, in the back. Three, in the back. Now slow. One, two, three, four. See I'm going a little higher each time. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, eleven, and we're going to slowly come down out to the side. up. This is 12. Slowly down. All the way down to parallel. And release it down. Back to two again. This time we take a wider stance. Screw the legs in. Get the abs engaged. Lengthen the spine. We're going to come back into a Slow curl, press, lower to the side, curl, press back up, lower down, elbows forward, and we're going to lower it, we're going to aim the fist towards each other, lower down. Again, you want to have a death grip here. Whole time, really putting that extra energy into it. Don't rely just on the weight. So now what we're going to do is put these to the outside. And we're going to come up to shoulder level. One, two, three. Four. We're going to bring the feet in a little bit, then we can use the legs as well. One, two, three, four.
and shake it out a little bit. So what we're going to do now, roll the shoulders. So forward, up, back, down. Even with this, twist the legs into the earth, push earth away, tighten the glutes, abdominals, death grip on your triad or your dumbbells. Let's change that. Life grip. And release. Put those down, shake it out. So, that's part two.